So here I am, preparing to make a Kurtzpel video, finally giving the game a shot after it went into early access. No longer in alpha, no longer in beta. Before I give the game a try, a few people reached out to me and asked if I've heard the recent news or recent issues with the game, and I didn't. Because to be honest with you guys, I haven't really been keeping up with the game. My head has been stuck in Arc Age and a few other MMO's asses in the last month, so I've been in there suffocating and haven't pulled my head out. But as I was pulling my head out of Arc Age's ass for one day and about to focus on Kurt's Pill, early access, I find out that the game, the company, the publishers have made some very poor choices. This has really upset the community. Kurt Spell has been review bombed on Steam, getting down to a 39% with mostly negative reviews. So what's the issue here? What's the problem? After people messaging me and asking me to cover it, sending me their frustrations, and talking to a friend who I will have later on in this video, he's dedicated a lot of his time and channel to covering Kurt Spell. Some of the main concerns were them locking two classes or karmas, that's what Kurt Spell calls them, behind a paywall, $15 paywall, so you need to spend $15 to unlock one of these classes. These classes specifically being the gauntlets and the staff. I know a lot of people want to use those gauntlets. Now in certain games, this is okay. It's like, especially if the game has been out for a while and then they release a new class, it's like you can either grind to get this class or you can pay whatever, a little pass or whatever to get this class. I've seen it happen, most people don't complain about it, but when the game is just launching, and you've had these classes available in the previous forms of the game, the beta, the alpha, and you've let people perfect these combos and then the game releases and you say that players will have access to the game's core content once it hits early access and then you lock some of the core classes behind a paywall, it's only right that people are upset, especially in a PvP game. You can't do this in a PvP game. Mind you, this game is still very skill-based. The other day, even looking at the top 50 players, you'll see a lot of players that have not spent a dime on this game that are using the greatsword and bow combination, which are available for free. So even those that bought gauntlets or bought the staff can still get the smoke. But it's still a very shitty thing to do. It was still a very bad choice. The other bad thing were rebirth tickets. These tickets let you spend your points in different ways. So if you're going for a certain build, using a rebirth ticket will allow you to put points in certain stats that work with that build. You don't need points in other areas if you're not using that certain karma or certain style. And this was something that also required spending money. So people were upset about this. I personally thought that Kurt's Pell should have relied on the cosmetics and stuff to make most of the money. Maybe throw in an optional subscription thing that, I don't know, gives you more CP. But this just wasn't the right way to go about it. So I was going to make a video today discussing this, sharing my thoughts like I just did. But I got a massive fucking headache and decided, decided I'll do this shit tomorrow. But then we got some really good news and good news is something I like talking about. Hello? Where was I? Oh, fuck. People love giving games bad reviews and just sharing negative opinions. It's like fun, it's easy. What about the good news? The team that's behind Kurt's Pell did a random live stream today apologizing to the players and they have decided to remove the paywall or to remove these classes that were locked behind that $15 price. And also they are changing rebirth tickets. Uh, these are a few things that I got from the live stream but we will go into more detail later in this video. So uh, the Blazing Fist and the Diabolic Witch, I think they call it, is the staff are now free to play and they are working on it as they speak. So during that live stream, they were actually working on this. Stat distribution that was done by the Rebirth tickets is now becoming a free to play feature. And for those that did spend money on the Karmas, uh, they will get some type of compensation. Now there wasn't too much context with all of this for the time that I did spend in the stream, but the fact that they are working on this is really dope. It shows that they care and you guys could argue and be like, well, no, they only care because we got really upset and that's true. It's just like the Sonic movie. Sonic the Hedgehog looked like absolute shit. I was still gonna watch it, but it looks like shit. All the people upset, now they're like, no, we're gonna redo Sonic. I don't think they cared about the fans. I don't think they cared about making an accurate representation of Sonic, but they do now that hella people are upset. I think the people that are behind Kurt's Pell, at least from the live stream, they seem very genuine, and maybe they're not the ones in charge of the choices, but some poor choices were made. Already, if you guys have watched my 
thoughts about Kurt's Pill like after the beta, honest thoughts. I like the game, I think it's a good game, but I just can't imagine it being the biggest thing in the world with the amount of content that it had in the beta. And I'm sure it's gonna have a lot more content in the early access, but still, just if it's just this hub-based PvP arena game, very dedicated PvPers are going to stick around but I can't see people beyond that really being in love and stuck with Kurt's Pill. For them to have such a dedicated fan base with the game and then just slap them with these poor choices was such a bad move. But the fact that they're doing this is really good on their part. So whether or not it was because they got review bombed, this is good news. It's really cool. A lot of times these companies don't care. I mean, just think about like if Revelation Online had done something like this and I can name 10 other MMOs that came out and just screwed up but didn't listen to the players because some corporate asshole at the top who's out of touch with gaming who shouldn't have that position was just like yeah. who cares let's make the quick buck i don't know shit. that's probably the mindset they have but anyway let's have a talk with hero to get more information about this hero is someone that i would call the father of kurt spell because this man has covered it more than anyone i know constantly uploading pvp montages and news and discussions so if you guys like Kurt Spell and you want to keep up with this game, I will link his channel below, but you can also um, look him up by this weird name he has. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm doing good. How about you? Doing great. So uh, today's subject is Kurt Spell. So if you guys don't know, we just pretty much discussed everything, but Hero was on his shitty mic. So we're about to do a little recap for you guys. So you want to um, give us a recap? Yeah, so basically, the greatest thing ever is that Rebirth Ticket is going to be customization specific, and the portion for uh, stats will be taken out of the Rebirth Ticket, which is the biggest reason why people were calling it pay to win. Nice. Which, you know, I, I won't even argue. It's kind of pay to win. Yeah. Um, they even stated too in the stream, like, we said no pay to win, and it's basically pay to win. So they announced it, they apologized for it, they said they fucked up. So it's really cool that they took responsibility for that because most people don't like most companies are just like most companies yeah, just like, are like we're still here for the quick buck like we don't give a fuck let the game exactly. die early on exactly and this is a big comeback for them definitely yeah. um the only thing i think will be a big issue is the steam review mm -hmm. I, I know a lot of people aren't going to revert that yep. until changes are made so it's gonna be stuck at mostly negative for a little bit so right. that's the only big portion that's sad also the uh loot boxes um loot boxes will still be there which is fine but the loot box for clothing specifically we're gonna have our own ap and cp shop specifically for cosmetics big plus what's um, supposed to be in these loot boxes is it only cosmetic items or so they do have karma crystals in there mm -hmm. uh which are your passives and your regular skills yep which People are like, some people are calling them gotcha skills. I still don't understand the terminology behind it, but uh, I get the fact that, what were you about to say? You no, know, I kind of get it because like gotcha, it's pretty much like opening a pack of magic cards, random of what you get. You can get like rare ones, you can get common ones. Yeah, but it's only an 8% chance to get that. Like usually you won't get that. Mm -hmm. um, you'll get like a cosmic, like a new karma sword type thing that looks really cool. Nice. Um, I spent literally $25. Mm -hmm. all together for the loot boxes and i literally got zero uh skills out of it i just got nothing but cosmetics how many cosmetics um, do they have in the game like do they have a lot more than they did in beta uh the beta there was actually a fuck ton in beta so really there's some i haven't seen before like i got this nice little coat that mm -hmm. wasn't in the beta so i don't know that's i don't know there's definitely a lot of items that we're just not gonna see unless you buy loot boxes or mm -hmm. until that cp ap shop comes out so, that's fair that's fair yeah they gotta but make money again, somehow, and it's nice that it's exactly. like cosmetic. Exactly. I always felt like, you know, this game, if it does free-to-play, which I hoped it didn't, mm -hmm. um, it'd be really hard for them to do, like, an incentive to yeah. make money. Yep. And since everybody voted for free-to-play, like, it was literally a community decision to go free-to-play, and they followed through, which is a big plus for them, too. But their incentives originally were terrible, but now they're, you know, they're changing it, so yeah. it's definitely pretty solid. Basically, for those people who bought the Founders Pack, which is pretty cool, um, since we basically bought the Founders and it came with Blazing Fist and the uh, staff, mm -hmm. to get our money's worth, since it's going to be free now, we get a whole new costume, oh, um, which would be specific to Founders Pack, and it'll be money equivalent. 
I'm assuming that means it'll come with maybe some karma skins, which would be fair mm -hmm. along with that. But I don't know. But having a whole new outfit that won't be available to anyone else yeah, uh, based on the fact that we spend money. That's that's something that's, that like founders deserve anyway. So I think that's yeah. a cool idea. Nice and, little compensate. Yeah. And then for those confused, well, you're probably not confused because I've already talked about it. But Blazing <laughs> Fist and Diabolic Witch are the gauntlet and staff classes or karmas that were available for 15 bucks a piece or if you're a founder but now what he's saying is that now that they're becoming free it's not really a special thing for founders so they're replacing that with the costume what about content like is the content any different than it was from what we played before so in content wise which i stated you know how i stated like about pve i felt like pve was very small lackluster mm -hmm. i yep. still feel the same way i think the only incentive to pve at this point is to get those little five percent drops um in terms of like outfit pieces yeah that okay. do affect your stats mm -hmm. but other than that like i'd rather go play like pso2 for pve or <laughs> final fantasy so pretty much the pve in this game is not good at the moment yeah i mean people like it though i i don't know how but there's a lot of people who love it well, i like me. it but there's not it. enough i don't think there's enough of it exactly or it's not big enough have it's they just... discussed expanding on it uh i not that i know of that's probably going to be later down the line okay. which i hope that got it is. yeah hell yeah i think we have went over the important stuff this is really really good news like i'm just still like again i'm miffed that a company like kog that gets so much shit for l sword mm -hmm. is literally just like you know what we fucked up we stated this it's not that we're gonna make it this like we said we were in the first place yeah that's a huge like I would fucking hug a man over there, you know what I'm saying? I hope this sets right an now. example for other companies who are like for sure. greedy fucks. Like maybe if this is successful, they'll realize that, oh, not making the quick buck is actually not the move. Let's like exactly. respect the players and keep them longer. Just make the game and make it the game. Don't focus mm -hmm. around, you know, just trying to get that money for your game so you can be successful. Like, I don't yeah. know. I feel like... I don't know. It felt like back in the day, like games were based around passion, and now they it's were, like a dude. And and now that that is like leaving the planet. Kog with this, and then Arc Age, they do these like really cool vlogs. It's almost as if it was like edited by like some twenty year old. It's got like cool right. hip hop and shit, and he shows like his step by step process of listening to player feedback, calling a meeting, fixing the game. Like they're really trying to make Arc Age a better game in Korea. That's just another company doing good. Yeah, and then we see Project Air go to Thailand, but become a much better game. So it's like, holy crap, Bro, is, is 2019 the era of... When you told me about Project Air, I was like, it was a huge 180. Because I remember you playing it way back when, and you were like, dude, this game, I was so happy, but now I'm just fucking mortified. Mm -hmm. And then you play this, and you're like, fuck, it's so good, I can't wait. And it's like, yep. what? <laughs> it's so much better now. Mm -hmm.